Hey guys, we are back in the race shop. It's going to be a little bit noisy here and there over the over the mic just because it is a busy day during the week. Um, but we did manage to sneak in here to one of our favorite little tools, the flow bench. Uh, we've last time that y'all have seen us, we were in here with the 4.3 V6 head, getting some data for everybody in the community. And of course, now you see we've got a Hemi head. This one, of course, is for the 6.4. We've also got a 5.7. Uh, so you've got your, you know, 5.7 Eagle and the 6.4 Apache. Uh, so we're going through getting some data for these just because of the fact that we've had a lot of customers ask after we did our camshaft comparison uh, shootout video, why we didn't go more aggressive? Why didn't we go over 600 lift? Well, really the big thing was in the explanation that we had was you really didn't need it, uh, especially on a stock head, especially for the 5.7 that we had on the dyno. Uh, and so we've got this already mocked up. We've got our clay on the intake port and Gordon, who is one of our lead sales guys in our Mopar division, who you also saw helping us out with the, the camshaft installs in the previous shootout video. Uh, he's gonna go through and run the heads through on the flow bench and we're gonna get some data. And hopefully, you know, you guys will be able to see uh, the comparison between how the 5.7 head does and how the 6.4 head does, as well as you know the, the reasoning behind why we had our camshaft set up with the amount of lift that they had. All right, so we have the 5.7 Eagle head on the flow bench with Gordon at the helm, and he's gonna run the intake valve through the motions from 100 thousandths all the way up to 650 thousandths, uh, just to see you know the airflow uh, from low lift all the way up to maximum lift. Uh, of course, our cams don't go anywhere near as high as uh, 650 thou, uh, but it's just something for us to be able to get the data. And uh, of course, this makes a lot of noise, so uh, we had to kind of turn it down just a little bit and you know, absolutely kill anybody that's on headphones. Okay, so Gordon's done with the intake side. It looks like we've got some pretty good data off of that one, and we're going to go ahead and switch this thing around and go to the exhaust. Okay, so we've got the exhaust uh, set up and uh, <laughs> had, to, had to do a little bit of finagling with the dial itself just to get it lined up just right with the, uh, the angle of the valves on, the, on that side of the head. Uh, it's uh, kind of a bulky head and there's not really a whole lot of room to play with. But Gordon's going through this one. Uh, we're starting off once again at 100 thousandths and going all the way to uh, 650 thousandths. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and let him go through the motions on this one and we'll see what we get as far as the results from this as well as the 6.4. Okay, so he's done with the exhaust side and uh, let's go ahead and finish up with this one, get it off the flow bench, and then we can compare uh, kind of an apples to apples uh, comparison between the two heads and see what we've got. Okay, so we are done with the flow bench testing. And of course we did some video work with the 5.7 on the flow bench with uh, Gordon twisting the dials and everything to, to get our results. Uh, we did not video the 6.4, it's just kind of boring just doing the same thing. You wouldn't really be able to see a whole lot of a difference between the two except for a lot of noise and uh, you wouldn't be able to see the results as, as well on the dial. So you might be asking, Dane, why is the flow difference so much between the 5.7 and the 6.4? Well, part of that is going to be in the valve diameter. And so you've got on the intake valve, it's a 2.05 inch intake and a 1.55 inch exhaust. Whereas on the 6.4 head, you've got a 2.14 inch uh, intake and a 1.65 inch exhaust. So the valve diameter being a little bit, just, just barely bigger, is still enough to be able to get enough, uh, you know, airflow increase between the two heads, which of course, you know, you kind of figure that the way that it's spec'd for a 5.7 liter versus a 6.4 liter engine, uh, you're going to have a little bit of a flow uh, difference in the, the actual flow demand for those two uh, aspects by the, the manufacturer. So thanks for stopping by to, to check out you know, our flow bench uh, data and you know, be able to use that as, as you can just for you know, trying to figure out your own builds. If you guys have any any questions, feel free to comment below, shoot us a private message. You can email us, give us a phone call. Our technicians are always ready, willing, and able to be able to talk about our Hemi packages that we have. We have other stuff in the works behind the scenes still that is not on the website. So feel free to ask if there's anything else that we might be able to do for you, including those uh, custom spec packages for you know you guys that are doing turbocharged uh, builds or you know adding a supercharger to your five seven or anything. 
Uh, thanks once again for stopping by, and we will see you guys next time for another tech video.